Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the technical and tactical analysis, is Stuart Robson. And very excited to be able to bring you live action from the Superliga coming right up. It's Aarhus facing FC Copenhagen. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. This is the lineup for the home team. Well, in this shape, unless their wing backs play further forward, there won't be any width in their attacks, which then puts a lot of pressure on the strikers to provide the goal threat. This is how the visitors will set up today. Well, they play without a main centre forward, but it's the wide players that end up through the middle. And they also look to get their full backs into advanced positions to deliver some great crosses. On their day, they're very difficult to negate. And the contest begins. And a bad pass it was. Le Rager. Victor Klasson. And players waiting in the centre. Well, many talking points coming into the game. The hosts have the best defensive record in the league, while their guests have been the most prolific in front of goal. Stuart, something has to give. Well, you're absolutely right, Derek. These fans, though, will know their team will be tested today. But up to now, their defensive work has been excellent. I'm intrigued to see who's going to win this one. Now, keeper in control. Who can they pick out? A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. So we have an early booking here to report, Stuart. Yeah, I think the referee's absolutely right. He's just making it clear to all the players out there, he's not going to take any messing about here. Cross could be useful. It's still alive. And the keeper more than equal to it. And he clears the danger. High pressing at its best. And with that, the attack fizzles out. A really vital interception. Opportunity, a goal to give them a 1-0 lead. An excellent value for that advantage, you've got to say. Well, let's have another look because this is a goal they have thoroughly deserved. They've played really well so far.
So underway again here. One nil the score. Mikael Duelund. Powerson. And it's still on. Chance to cross. Oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack. They've lost it. Patrick Mortensen. Promising looking ball. Well, no danger now. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. Well, visionary passing, and it's gone in! The team's separated by two goals now. You cannot say they don't deserve it. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. Good vision to set up the chance, and it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. So back underway with the lead standing at 2 0. Well, as you can see, the visitors have had most of the ball and they've made good use of it. They really have played some good attacking football and they look like scoring more. Yes, yeah, really going so well for them, and who knows, they might be able to craft an. Well, getting in the way, superb save. Fancy a short one. Vavro. And gobbled up with ease by the keeper. Le Rager. Rasmus Falk Jensen on the ball. And just one minute of time added on for stoppages. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw in. Rasmus Falk. And reading it absolutely superbly. No way through, and keeping it out. going for the short one and a useful cross oh that is a superb save so there goes the half-time whistle it is an acceptable scoreline from the point of view of the visitors they find themselves on top Stuart well we talked about their scoring record at the start of the game and it's been the same old story today far too strong far too dynamic for their opponents and clinical when they've had the chances too I just can't see there being a response if I'm honest So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway.
Anderson. It did look on for them, but not to be. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? Well, it didn't go as a plan in the end. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Oh dear, not really troubling the goalkeeper at all, Stuart. Well, from that range, he should be scoring, and he knows it. How can he take them on and beat them? Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. And he has options available. But into the keeper's gloves. Giving it a try. I'm not testing the keeper at all with that effort. Madsen. He's given it away. Rasmus Falk. Diogo Gonzalez. Happy just to retain the ball in their own half and draw out the opposition. Crossing possibilities. And it's come off the keeper. Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss. An alert intervention. Really vital interception here. Mikael Duelund. Well, nearly there, this game almost over. And looking at the fans, Stuart, they appear to me to be more than a bit gutted. Well, there's been a real lack of energy right from the start of the game, certainly when they haven't had the ball. They're closing down, decision-making and recovery runs just haven't been good enough. Well, the chance has been missed. No other way to describe it. Andreas Cornelius. And they need to get tighter. Putting his body on the line. Five minutes left. Le Rager. And it's with Gonzalves. Opportunity. And a goal. If there were any remaining doubts, that will settle the issue. Well, as you can see, not much power, but great accuracy. He made that look so easy, didn't he? This is looking rather comfortable for them. 3-0. And just one minute of time added on for stoppages. And that is that. The referee blows his whistle for full time. And it's a victory for the visitors. Well, in the end, they just had too much creativity, didn't they? Their combination play was so good today. That's how to break down even the best of defences.